I was just reading somewhere that uh, you know you have uh, five directors or five executive directors, and then no, uh, we don't have five. No, uh, we had three, uh, and we even now have three. Right. So if you look at the executive directors, general managers, the uh, deputy general managers, you know they have a team of 20, 25 people, and none of these people have left in the last decade. Right, so you have not had any turnover. Actually, if you look at it, not just the last decade. If you look at uh, deputy general, it's not 25 people. It's actually more. If you take deputy general manager, I suppose it's much more than 20, much more than 25. If you take historically at senior levels at a at a DGM or that's a deputy general manager or a general manager, we probably in 32 years lost three or four or five people. That's it. Mm -hmm. And those three or four or five people, most of them have gone to our own group companies. Group companies, yeah, that's like Satwalikar went to. Deepak Satwalikar, he was the earlier managing director, he went to a life company. Parish Parasnis was with us, he also went to a life company. Right. Milin Barve, he runs our asset management business. Nasser Manji was with us, he's still, still a non-executive director of us. He went to IDFC, so right. it's more within the... That is the type of uh, culture we try to create. We have a very low staff attrition rate. Our staff attrition rate is less than 3% a year, 3 to 3.5%. The maximum would be 3.5% in any given year. So staff attrition rates are very low. People usually do not leave once they've joined. And they, they, they work their way up to the organization.